I am really fascinated with the, the persistence decision and, and in entrepreneurship that's a really important decision. A lot of entrepreneurship research is about that startup decision but I really like this persistence decision that they have to make over and over again. No matter the obstacles that come, all sorts of challenges, entrepreneurs have to persist and overcome those challenges to really succeed. And you'll hear a lot about that in the popular press. We talk about things like never give up, you know, that, that quote uh, by Churchill, uh, you know, where he said, never give in, never give in, never, 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 in nothing great or small, large or petty, never, never give in, except to convictions of honor and good sense. Now, we often cut that down and just talk about never give in, right? Persist, persist, persist. But there can be a downside to persistence. Sometimes we beat our head against the wall and we really should put our resources into a different opportunity. And so that last line of Churchill's quote, to, give, uh, to not give in except to good sense is, is what I really like to focus my research on and, and hope to do throughout uh, the coming years as well. In a recent article that I just published, uh, uh, we did a study to look at persistence decisions versus general startup decisions. And an economist would argue that we should try to maximize utility no matter what that decision is, no matter what the past was, the sunk cost that we've already uh, put into uh, previous businesses, we should look for the very best opportunity to put our resources into. And we found though that entrepreneurs, we had about 100 entrepreneurs participate in this study, and we found that they made those decisions very differently. Uh, that uh, they did not necessarily seek to maximize utility when persistence was part of that process. So in other words, if they had to give up on their existing business to pursue this great new opportunity, they weren't necessarily looking to maximize that utility. And there's a number of factors that may be involved in that. It may be self-justification. They're trying to uh, justify past decisions. They want to feel like they're right about the process that they started. It may be kind of the norms of consistency. They're really trying to be consistent uh, and keep the status quo. We generally feel comfortable with that. There's a number of factors. I've, I've looked at values. Uh, I've looked at uh, the context of adversity and other things in past studies. And those all play a factor in that persistence decision. Overall, the advice I give to entrepreneurs is to understand these biases, understand these factors that play in the persistence decision. You know, it's ideal if we look at something objectively, look at the data, get other people involved in the decision that may not be emotionally tied to the decision, and try to make the most wise and, and good sense decision possible. And uh, future research, I'll continue to drill down on different aspects of that decision and, and look forward to studying this great topic.